But besides that, no, I'm not, no way, break home anytime you have a search for them for data, no. And monitor official, no, you won't mess. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, we're going to go to the next presentation um, until I make the switch. Um, Anna, tell us a little bit about what you're doing at the moment. Trying to put my hand on the uh, <laughs> Apart from that. Uh, hello everybody, my name is Anna Langia. I think that some of you from this uh, part know me. Uh, I'm a lawyer, now I, I work uh, independent. Uh, I work for some big companies before that. In, I'm specializing in competition law and commercial law. Like that. Uh, and I think that for about a year I put... Um, I, I'm struggling actually. Uh, not the front. Uh, I'm struggling actually to make a marketplace for clients and lawyers. As you can see in the United States, like uh, Lexo or Lodingo or we play in France. Um, and I think that for about six or seven months we're working on a software for lawyers and I think mostly lawyers with case law and uh, legislation, with algorithm and, uh, and NLP. Uh, but uh, today I'm not talking about this. Uh, Adrian talked uh, the technical things for me. Um, I wanted to talk about today about Facebook. Is it public or private? Um, as a short intro, I think about a year ago I was on my last interview before I decided to go uh, independent. Um, and um, the interviewers who were kind of friends or something like that, we were connected on Facebook, uh, after two hours of uh, legislation and regulation and case law, they asked me, um, I saw you, um, you liked uh, some people, uh, Dan Vizerian and, uh, uh, and the other one with the planes and, uh, and I was, uh, okay, and uh, why did you do that? I mean, I saw you did that, I think, about five or six months ago. Why? Uh, do you see yourself in them? Uh, are you connected with them? And I was like, dude, it was a like. I mean, come on. I just followed them and that's all. Uh, afterwards, uh, uh, after I put Julio uh, on, on stage, um, I was very curious to see how many case law we have on Facebook in Romania. And I was pretty surprised to see that we have about 1,020 case law on Facebook and I was, oh my god. Uh, in 2014, the High Court of Justice uh, rendered a decision about uh, public space and private space. Uh, as you can see, we don't have a definition for what is public and what is private in Facebook. So we can go to we can go to our criminal procedure uh, code, criminal code, sorry, not procedure, and we can see that public is something that ha happens in a public space between people. And we were okay, but how can we apply this to Facebook? Um, the High Court uh, in that decision, she, she says something very interesting. Uh, she made an analogy between Facebook as a, a network um, network space. And your private email, no, not private email, your private post. Uh, and uh, and the, the judge said that, okay, in your private post at your house or office, you have the control. I mean, you can see what you're getting. You're actually the only one who gets it, unless somebody tries to see your post. And you know, if you, if you go to the post office to send, an e uh, to send a mail, you know exactly where that mail is going to. Uh, with respect to Facebook, even if you post something, you, you don't have any control about it. Even if your, public, even if your profile is set on private, as in just for me, because you, you see, you have two different types of profile. Actually, three. Those which are completely private, I mean, uh, only I can see it, and some of my network, maybe not entirely. Uh, those which are uh, semi-private, I mean, I can see it, my, all my friends can see it and I can make some public posts and those public profiles as, as is mine. I mean, I, my uh, Facebook profile is public and everything can see, everybody can see what I post. 
Why not? Uh, and that was a problem. If my profile is, is private, I mean, I have all the, the settings so nobody can see it, uh, except if, if they're my acquaintances. Can we talk about the public space in these conditions? And the High Court said yes. Uh, because I don't have any control about my friends and their true identity. I mean, for example, uh, I think you all have in your network, uh, I think for about two or three months, uh, your friends who say, uh, can you give a report to this profile because he stole my name, my picture, and all that. In that case, if you have a new friend, for example, you're connecting to a network event or to a hub or something like that, you don't know if it's it's true profile or it's a fake one. Therefore, you cannot have any control upon it. Moreover, you can have shares, reshares, uh, reshare of the, of the reshare, and screenshots. So, for example, my profile is, is private, I'm posting only to my friends, but I have a friend who is not so much a friend of mine, and he makes a screenshot and he gets it to Mediafax or Hot News or something like that. And it's everywhere. Uh, this is what happened with, uh, in 2014, it was a protest, a meeting in Bucharest. Um, and even though the profile was public, uh, some, his friends could share it, and it became public by multiple shares. And that was, uh, and that's why uh, the High Court said that because we don't have any control upon it, and, and who can give that information to several people afterwards, it's still public, even though we make, we make it private by settings. That was exactly what, uh, what the High Court said. Legal stuff and not that necessary. What about Facebook groups? When I first saw this, um, I made an, an, an analogy with WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger. Because we have two, two kinds of groups. Facebook groups, WhatsApp groups in chats, and Facebook groups inside the network platform. Uh, WhatsApp and I am pretty sure that Facebook also has it. Uh, also in groups, in chat groups, has entered to an encryption. So, for example, if I talk to you and to you, I know that my information, what I'm saying, only gets to you, and nobody from outside can come and take that information. <laughs> my friend Andre uh, is not uh, so. Uh, oh what? Uh, sorry. NSA, FBI. Um, do you know? Um, uh, just a, a, a small deviation. Um, do you know that scandal in in Brazil? I think it was about one year ago. Um, in uh, in Brazil, it was something like that. Um, they saw that an infectional group of drugs, cartel dealers or something like that. Uh, they were making their discussion on WhatsApp, and the FBI and perhaps I don't know how kind of jurisdiction there. Uh, went to the, to the authorities and to WhatsApp and said, okay, give me that information. And they said, you don't know, it's end-to-end encryption. And they couldn't get that information even though they had a warrant. They took WhatsApp down in Brazil for three days, uh, but in the end they couldn't, they couldn't get the, the, da the data. This doesn't happen with Facebook. Uh, for example, in UK uh, and in, uh, in USA, there were cases in courts which used evidence from Facebook. Um, I think that uh, Aline from Avocadnet posted uh, two or three months ago that Facebook was interpolated last year about uh, 40 or 50 times regarding uh, personal individuals and public companies with their respect on, on Facebook and their profiles. So Facebook delivered that information to authorities, which is not end to end encryption. If I talked with you, it's end to end encryption, so they don't have control. What I post and what is in groups is the same. Um, there was a discussion about Facebook groups. What we understand about it, what we understand through Facebook groups. I mean, I can have a Facebook group with two of my, my friends. For example, I have one with my family, or I can have, as I have, uh, as I also have, a working group with 50 people. They're not, not, they're not my colleagues, they're not my family. We don't have interconnectivity and, uh, and a very close relationship. Can we talk further about privacy in these kind of groups? Uh, we don't have this kind of case law, but what I, uh, what I look for in France, they said that no. 
because uh, even though you can verify the persons, they can also reshare it. They can also uh, make, a, make a screenshot. So it, even in these kind of Facebook groups, no. Because they also don't offer end-to-end -end encryption. Um, in specific situations, and uh, there were some, they were uh, connected with legal consequences. Um, for example, uh, in August 2016, I, uh, I looked at um, a female who had a, a nickname like Diabolica Ta, which is TH. Uh, <laughs> well, why not? Um, was fined with almost uh, 250 euros by the local police uh, because she said on Facebook that, uh, and I repeat it in Romania because it's not found in English, uh, that politicians need to pull on a gene infection and over cheat. And they looked, and they looked for for her. They looked for where she, she was going to high school, and they couldn't identify her. And for a fine, which for me in Romania was amazing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on, you don't give a fine for parking, and you, you, you do 